John Chavi and Chris Singleton on the call. Here we go, Singy. The fans have been waiting for this Major League debut for a while, and it's finally here. There's a lot of hype. And here's the rookie center fielder, Tim Wood, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good great sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Good job to fight that one off. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. The pitch. Foul off again. And it remains three and two. Boils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a 3-2. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He wastes no time on this one. It's one nothing. So digging. In Michael Harris. Hard ground ball, base now. That is third. The white right view. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Here comes a pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Stringing them together. That's three hits that in a cool. row. That's a good that sound good. coming off the bat, yeah. man. And as he connected out yeah. front, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. Oh, that's that's the a poor cool stroke. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Close one doesn't get the call. Three ball, one and the frame. count is three and one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Next offering is in for a strike. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Traffic on the bases with one already in here on opening day. Now here's Austin Riley. Austin Riley. That one in there across the letters. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. One out. Runners at first and second. And now it's even up. It's a strikeout. So first and second with two outs. Now in for the Braves, Matt Olson. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. One run across. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, and they're up by.
by three. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the top of the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. And it's 4-0. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start. But you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. To the right side, Harper. He handles it himself, oh. and they're happy to just get off the field after that break. Here's Trey Turner. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value and the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Really nice job that staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. He just shot it through the infield. With Merrifield up to the plate. And another ball. The 2 1. Slice to right. And it gets down for a base hit. Around second is Turner. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. That is good. Bryce Harper to the play. Harper. Righty delivers. Outside. That's the ball. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Turner at third, Merrifield at first with no outs. Foul ball. At the belt and fires. And that's ball, ball four. His ability Victory. to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Hey. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. up dangerous hitter at the plate fouls it off still one and two they need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play and get right, yourself ball a pop up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points and the right hander deals Three. and a swing and a miss down on strikes now one away Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The pitch. Swing and a soft liner out to left field. Base hit. One run is in. The throw in. And he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Picks himself up a couple of ways. Really spun on that pitch and ripped it down the line. And it couldn't have been much closer to ending up in foul territory. But it did just sneak in there for the base hit. Good job by the defense as well to hold it to a long single. 2-2 on the way. And okay. another ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. But I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Fights it off, he'll see another. Two on, one out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. One one now. Swing and a pop up. All these gets under it. Corrals it. And that is that. After scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Singy wasn't very sharp okay. in the first. Got hit around a little bit. Just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Brooke, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. The pitch. That one walk misses. Walk. So a leadoff walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Tim Wood, the next to hit. Right hander kicks, deals. Out to center. Rojas drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. So up next, Michael Harris. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Kicks and deals. And there's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Roll to short, could be two. Turner. The throw to first. And Acuna retired. Here is Aaron Judge. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Oh, that's me. And downstairs. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Boom. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning. a team and when you look at a lineup he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate dunks one into left throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away here's harper and the 
and the pitch. And a pop up right side foul territory. And that will end the inning. Top half of the third inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. Riley. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. That one misses. Three and one. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Right through there. Got it. And there's one down. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. One out, base is empty. Hey. That one missed. Two two now. And a base hit into right center field. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. one. Solid swing from start to end. On mm -hmm. time with everything. Mm -hmm. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking. Foul ball. And it first one away. Gets a piece and stays alive. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Marsh snags it for the second out. Here's Orlando Arcia. Two outs. Hey. That one finds the zone. One ball. One and two. Two strikes. Should be extra bases. Olsen. Round second on his way to third. Coming home. Turner with a relay throw. He scores and they lead by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Here's Sean Murphy. Tags and misses. It's a strikeout. Set for the bottom of the third. That's now, Kyle Schwarber. And it skips in there. You know, these fills doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of it. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them all the way. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. The Braves leading by three here in the last half of the third. That one the other way. Acuna takes it in for the out. And there's one down. JT Real Muto steps in. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Two 
sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Uh -huh. I'm sure he feels Those really good about that one. I know it was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, oh, that's charge it. Crazy. Yeah, the batter now, Brandon Marsh. Big swing and a miss. We got a full count. Ground ball could be two. Over to Arcia. Oh. That's one. Oh. And that's two. Back at Citizens Bank Park as we go to the top of the fourth. Digging in, Tim Wood. To right, Castellanos gets under it, hauls it in for the out, and there's one down. Now the number two hitter, Michael Harris. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The wide to kick the pitch. Line drive, dives. Play. Here's Acuna now. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. And that gives Aaron Judge a chance to hit with two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than the that. That's about as textbook up. as it gets. That's Got his stride and load yeah. out of the way early. Yeah. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the kill. First offering, runner goes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that'll do it. Citizens Bank Park, best Whoa. ice cream in all of the league at the press level. It's only been around since 2004, but plenty of awesome history here already. It's the only stadium with multiple postseason no-hitters. Remember Roy Halladay did it back in 2010? And the Houston Astros threw a combined no-no in Game 4 of the 2022 World Series. Swings and misses struck him out. Up next for Philadelphia. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Johan Rojas. And here it comes. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one lifted to left. Harris brings it in, and there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out no, front on that pitch that away, and he wasn't able to stay close. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner now. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count is two and two. Up the middle, Albies on the run, throw to first. Out. out with room to spare, and that's the inning. There's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Taiwan Walker. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for Stepping in the long ball threat, Austin Riley. And a one-two. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the now ball up it. the middle. Didn't the square it up as team. much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Matt Olson up to the plate. And yeah, that's outside. Two and one. You know, these Braves really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Way up, got the strike two. <laughs> And he deals. Leaves a defender for the strikeout. Here's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. gets under it. Puts it away for the out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. And a 2-1 on the way. Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. A massive home run. His first homer of the year, it's 8-2. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Spencer Turnbull. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the center fielder, Tim Wood. Two down, nobody on. And yeah, there's a ball. ball. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. To the right side. He takes it He's himself out. to the bag, and that'll do it. to go for the last half of the inning now and stepping in is down. the speedy with Merrifield. You know, every pitcher wants run support and having a lead is nice but it can be challenging for some Ball pitchers two. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse go after hitters and get quick outs. A one out to right makes the catch for the out. On the mound, he had a little trouble the back in the first, the but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this Four outing nicely. The wind of the pitch. Bounced out to short. Arcia whips it to first on the run. Got it. Harper retired. And now for the Phillies, That's Kyle Schwarber. Always doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And another ball. Yeah. Swings and misses. It's two and two. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Two outs. Not even close there. And the count's full. Ground ball, Olsen. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back 
here in Philadelphia. Here's the left fielder, Michael Harris. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. No. Just missed. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Makes the catch. And there's two down. It's Aaron Judge now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugger, too. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. That one down the line. And that's just foul early in the count you have to be real careful because of that power but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him he's still very comfortable because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball three and down on strikes he goes and it's a one two three inning Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Tyler Matzik. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Still two and two after the foul ball. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. And another ball. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Olsen pulls it down. And there's one down. And now it is JT Real Muto. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Thank that you. one just misses. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That one ripped, and that's a base hit. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at bat. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so, so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it one doesn't ball. always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Stands in for the Phillies. Real Muto off the first with two away. Okay. 
On the ground to third. Throw on to Olsen, and the inning is over. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Ground ball, left side. Sends it across oh. the first. One up, one down. Here's Matt Olson. Up next for Atlanta, the first baseman. The two on. And a foul ball. The Braves up big in this one. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Down the line. And that drops foul. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Ozzie Albies now at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Hey! Foul ball still, a one and two count. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. Swing and a ball popped up. Turner should have it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Set for the last half of the seventh. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a foul straight back. That's a little Damn. bit low. Oh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Bounce to the left side. And they get the oh. leadoff hitter in the seventh. Trey the Turner at the seven. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. It's a strikeout. Now batter, second base. And the batter now, Whit Merrifield. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2-2. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Riley drifts towards it. That is the inning. Here with my pal Siggy. We're at the top of the eighth. The and now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Arcia. Right handed reliever. That Rainbow. one well upstairs. One and that's ball three. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Three and two. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Line to left. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. Yeah. 
Two ball, miss. two strike. One down, base is empty. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. 2-2 two -two now. And that's in the dirt. Ball. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Into center. Rojas settles underneath it. And there's two away. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. The Braves up big in this one. And we're in the top of the eighth. And there's ball, ball four. You know, Victory. I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Turnbull throws the oh, first, he's and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Here's a rip to short. But he's there for the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now here is Harper. Harper. The one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One, two now. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. That one back. That will get out of here. He nails one out to right. His first home for the year, and they're chipping away. It's 8-3. New pitcher for the Braves, Justin Martinez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Number 63. Yo, no, no. Next is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Hey. And now it's filled up. Helpful. Left hand hitter waits. Hey. He goes down looking. Nick Castellanos digs in now. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I'm moved. Sliced hard but foul. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. In the air out to center. Wood under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. Two outs, base is empty. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. That smash towards center. Wood brings it in with a nice running grab. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Sir Anthony Dominguez. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And now two and one. He got two balls, one strike. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. The ball the absolutely bat, jumped nine, off nine. the bat on that Number swing. Kind of made my eyes very light up, and... The data we're getting doesn't disappoint in the slightest. 116. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Leaping. Can't haul it in. Acuna around 
at second, headed for third. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. Back to back base hits. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Stepping in, Austin Riley. Nope. Next outside. pitch is outside. ball another 2-2 upcoming and a pitch and Count another three ball two. already three runs across in the frame here at the top of the ninth spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another And now the lefty foul ball and it remains a full count. And a pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Gone. They go back to back and they add on. It's 12-3. So digging in, Ozzie Albies. Stays alive. Nobody on, nobody out. You're in game one of this three game set. Popped up. Merrifield in pursuit. Puts it away for the out. And the batter will be the shortstop. Orlando Arcia. Still only one out here in the inning. Just off the outside edge. Three and one now. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he could. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That's long gone. Their third home run of the inning. And they add to their lead. It's 13-3. Gregory Soto gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Gregory. Sean Murphy getting ready to hit. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Castellanos makes the grab. Two down. Tim Wood next up for the Braves. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Two out, space is empty. Goes down here. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the ninth, and digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. Misses one and a count two and one. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. That's down and in. Right. 
swing and a miss struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Base is empty one away here at the last half of inning number nine. And they'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. And yep, that's outside. That the count now two and two. In the air, left field. Harris has a beat on it. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Nope, this is just ball. off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And a strike in there. This could end it. Out towards right center field. Acuna has it sized up. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves take this one in a blowout. I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. And that batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 13-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us. I'm a